Hey, what's up? This is the Nerdy Entrepreneur, and and we are back now. I in the last video, you know, we went on a little tangent about uh, some extensions or add-ons that you can use if you're using Google Sheets. Uh, for some of you, whether you are getting into freelancing or you've been doing it for a long time, you know, having ways of tracking, you know, different things like time or stuff that just help you in your business to keep track of what you're doing is essential. Keep you from being too disorganized and um, if you're disorganized it's hard to uh, justify certain things that you do in your business and then you wind up working too many hours and not getting paid enough which is very common for people who start their own businesses particularly if they are freelancers so in this one um, i actually found a template online so this was me using some google power to look for something that i might want to emulate on my sheets for some outreach I'll be doing. Now, in this case, I found, I Googled and clicked on a few links and got a outreach tracker template, which is kind of what I was looking for. So um, it's nice to see either one, you see something that might be useful to you and then you just go and create it. Or in this case, they actually released it for free. So I was like, you know what, let me just use your template and I'll just adjust it as I need, which is also a great thing to do. So I haven't renamed it. This is the copy of it, but it was called the Outreach Tracker Template. Um, I guess if you Google, it's going to give you a whole bunch. I happened to find it looking for outreach templates in uh, Google Sheets. And this was one that I found that was uh, free and available. And if I remember, I'll see if I can go back to that link and I'll put that in the description of this video if you want to use and copy that too. Now, this is some of the sample stuff that they gave here. Uh, that I thought was pretty helpful. Now, there are, you know, some tabs on the bottom, the tracker, the client overview and templates right here. So I can modify any of this to me what I need it to me, which will reflect on the main tracker sheet here. Same thing on the client overview. I can change this like I did the client uh, name to client 85, which didn't exist before. This was client one in the tracker and it showed up here so all of these three tabs are connected to this main sheet so anything you change in there will be reflected here you'll have to adjust so i will put the link in the description of where i got this one because you might want to copy this one this is a nice one to modify it's not too complex uh pretty simple and you can kind of do uh what you want here so i think this will be pretty good enough this will be just should be good enough for what i'm intending to do and i'll probably make multiple copies and just modify it to the type of outreach that i'm doing on different platforms so you can use this yourself i will put the link in the description and let it be something that you know any one of you can copy and use as long as they have it there so uh why is this important you know why would you care about this because when you're doing outreach for clients you know, you're trying to get clients, it can get really hectic, right? Now, for those of you, some of you are doing this on the side and just getting into this, it could be extremely hectic because you're going to have your job, you're going to have your family, you're going to have things that are going to come up. And so you doing outreach is going to be important for you to grow your business, but also keeping track of what's going on with that outreach. Because sometimes we miss opportunities because we just don't follow up enough. So something like this can actually have some type of tracking to help you uh, keep that a bit more organized. Now, there are other trackers out there that are a bit more complex. There's also software tools that you can use and pay for on a subscription basis to help you uh, do that as well. Those things are lovely, called, uh, are wonderfully called for a lot of them CRMs. And I'm a fan of using CRMs, whether you want to use uh, Pipedrive, which one I use often, or you want to use a CRM like Copper or many of the thousands of CRMs out there. I'm a big fan of that. This is something that you can use that is no code. You don't have to code to do this. And this is essentially free because I got this template for free. I didn't pay for it. Um, so you can use this as you wish. Uh, of course, this is not a complete like CRM replacement. You know, there are Google Sheets and even Excel spreadsheets that have basic uh, a basic crm that was built by some you know by someone and you can find uh plenty of those online if you choose to some of them are paid templates some of them are free templates but you can use that if you want to um or choose not to 
or pay for a CRM or use a combination of what you would like. You know, it just depends on you and what makes it easier for you. And that is the key. Use the thing, especially in the beginning, that makes it easier for you. You know, it allows you to do what you need to do, allows you to keep track of what you're doing so that you can turn around and get more at bats, get more sales so that you can grow your side hustle, grow your full business. You don't always need to have the fanciest tool around that could do all the things. You also don't always need to pay uh, for certain tools. But I do believe in investing and paying for tools because there's some companies that, you know, they're making a whole lot of money and they're, you know, they're just getting ridiculous about spending like a hundred bucks a month for a CRM that's going to keep them more organized, let them send out contracts, let them collect payments. And yet the company's making like, you know, 400,000 a year, 200,000 a year, you know, it, it's just ridiculous <laughs> to me. I think that's being silly. But for those who are just started and you know, you want to keep your money investment in your business to other things that uh, you feel might be of more value than this is a low code or this is a no code uh, free way of doing it. Now, it's not the full shablam right here. We know you get to put your, you know, your project topic. You could change any of this, by the way, the name, the contact, the last contact date, the stage, the follow up status pending you could change all of this that's why those two tabs you could change all of that and any notes you know just to help you on the prospecting end and then once you have them as a client you're going to have you're going to need a whole different set of tools or workflow for that so you'll if you want to keep it in the google sheets family you have to create a whole thing for current clients but we're not here to get that complex my point is i will put this in the description uh, so you can use it and find out you know where i got it and you can copy and modify it as you wish, but use something to help you keep track of your outreach. That way you don't miss out on opportunities. You know, once you get your first few clients and stuff, then you can turn around and get uh, tools that are uh, a bit more robust than us using a Google sheet that you can use for yourself, or you can, you know, plug in some automations and play for some plugins that will help you do the same thing. However, your workflow needs to go to help you achieve getting a client and getting paid. Do what you need to do. Don't be ridiculously cheap. Don't necessarily spend your money frivolously. This is a nice uh, cheap option to go to help you keep track so that you can begin your journey or you know, uh, realign your journey as to uh, making money so that you can do the things that you wish to do, which is what the Nerdy Entrepreneur channel is all about. So with that being said, uh, check the link in the description where I got this, where you can go as long as it's still there, um, make a copy of this and modify it as you wish for yourself for your own outreach with this outreach tracker template that I got. Um, and let me know in the description, did you find this helpful? You know, how, how have you modified, how are you modifying the tracker sheet for you so that you can use it, you know, in your business? Is there anything you would like me to cover in terms of finding some uh, cheap tools or low cost tools for you in your business. Let me know and I'll check that out. Also, I ask and I ask because these videos are essentially relatively free, but they're not free. So all you need to do for me is give a like on this video, make sure you comment, show some engagement and subscribe to the channel. When you subscribe to the channel and click the little alert button, sometimes YouTube will decide to let you know when the next uh, when the next video is up there. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. That really helps us out. Do more videos like this to help you um, to find tools to help you get your journey, and also to watch other videos where I actively talk about projects that I'm working on or coming soon. People who have worked on and created their own businesses that allow them to live the life they want to live, whether it was a retiring spouse, you know, or getting out of a job they hated. So with that being said, please support the channel in that way. Let me know what you think. The, the link and it will be in the description. See you next time. Peace.